Hi everyone, it's me Jim from Uper Survival. And ex Aegeus sent me this universal thigh holster. I'm going to talk about it real quick. I'm going to move the camera and I'm going to show you guys how to set it up. I've watched other people set theirs up and I'm like, that's really not how you do it. But maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. And I still call these bowlies. I don't know why people call them leg holsters, thigh holsters. I still call them bowlies. But let me move the camera and we'll get started on this and we'll make this video quick. X Aegis thought this out really well when they built this. And like I said, it's it's under 17 bucks, 16 something, I can't quite remember. Uh, it's dirty because I've already wore it in the woods, and like I said, I, I to do a review, I gotta make sure everything works on it. So, real quick, it's a dual strap. So you got dual straps on your thighs. And when you're looking for a leg holster, make sure that the clips take some oomph. To unsnap. You don't want to be walking in the woods, bump up against a tree and every time have your snaps come undone. So make sure that you have good quick clips on it that are sturdy. This is a single uh, mag pouch and this comes out. And let's throw in the magazine real quick. What I always do is I put the magazine here and make sure because you're fighting velcro on velcro. Alright? So make sure that you can Slide that in good. I don't think you guys can see this. And that's your Velcro. Make sure your clip stays in there well. Alright? Take that out. Actually, you know what? We're going to leave that in there. Here's one of the tips and tricks to uh, getting these, I call, like I said, I call them bowlies tight. Keep that in there. Alright, next you want to do, this thing here is your dual, uh, dual safety. It's got a Velcro strip on top, you pull off, and then it's got a quick snap. And remember, this is the way it came in the package, this is the way it's got to go back together. I've seen other people, we'll just pull that right out, get all done and they can't get this back in here right, so they just put it like this over top. Well, you hit a tree limb branch and boom, off it goes. So don't be doing that. So we got the magazine in there. And this right here, this is for all sorts of tactical guns. All right, different length barrels. You just move this Velcro up and down. Oh, we got a pine needle in there right now. So I'm going to take my 1911 and safety first. This gun, this pistol is empty. So where you want to put it at, you adjust that Velcro up. I don't like mine all the way down. Can you guys see that? Hopefully you can see it. I don't like my pistol too far down because <clears throat> I want to have easy access to get to the handle real quick. So adjust this to where you want it and then you take this. Can you see that? I hope I'm showing it right. My hands are blocking everything. So keep that Velcro tight and bring this over as much and tight as you can. Pull that really tight. Tuck this little corner right down inside. Now that you got that Pull this one over as tight as you can get it until it gets on the Velcro and then pull the, the last piece over. So right now that pistol's not coming out, alright? Now for this, which like I said I've seen a lot of people screw up on, if you're going to do it, set it up, set it up right. These used to come with a piece of plastic, but they don't anymore. So, I have a butter knife right here. <clears throat> What you want to do is put the butter knife inside that right there and then you can slide this in. Leave the butter knife in it so this can still move up and down and get your snap set. Because the tighter you have this snap when this is when you're wearing it it only takes a little thumb boom and it snaps right off. If you got it loose you're going to have to fumble with it to get it off. Put your Velcro over, and then <clears throat> don't take that, don't take that uh, butter knife out. Pull that down, work it down with your thumb, so that's in as far as it'll go. And that is the easiest way to set it up, and you got it secure. All right, let me move the camera back. I'll put it on my thigh, and uh, well. I'll show you how quick you can get that snap off. You don't have to have this Velcro on if you don't want it on. You can take it right off. It's got a double piece of Velcro and it'll snap 
right there. You don't have to have that on if you don't want it. So let me move the camera. I'll put it on my thigh and I'll show you how quick that snap comes off. Alright, got my dog with me. Alright, Tamara, watch out, baby. Watch out. Okay, real quick, when you put these straps on, don't put them on so tight that it's cutting off your blood circulation. You just need it snug. The extra length on the straps, what I do is once I get this set to me, I just take some black electrical tape and wrap it around it so they're there. You can cut them off if you want to, but if you're like me, the older you get, the bigger you get. So let's go to the snap real quick. As long as you have the setup like I showed you and it's super tight, it don't take nothing to pull the pistol out. It's just that quick. It takes you longer to snap it back up than it does anything else. What I do is I just push it. Yeah, that's what I do. I just push it. There, it snapped back on. Like I said, it takes longer to snap it together than it does to get it out of there. All right, real quick. Let's say you're camping or hiking. You don't want to wear it. Boom, you can take it right off. Uh, let me move the camera real quick. This is also made out of a thousand denier, so it is actually very good material. Also on this clip too, you don't have to take the belt off if you don't want to. This all belt goes right up, comes right off. So I want to thank XAGS for sending me this and giving me a chance to review it. And I'll be honest with you, I will wear it a lot. Uh, and like I said, that's not my first one. This is another one. And I don't even know who makes it. Like I said, it's been so... This one here is over 20 years old. And I guarantee you, you'll get 20 years out of this one also. So, alright guys, thanks for watching. Hope I made this quick. Uh, XAGS, thanks again for giving me a chance to do the review on this. I really appreciate it.